it going guys, my name is Monty Kiwi and welcome back to another Roblox Skyblock video. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the new sprinkler item. This little guy here that will automatically water your crops because we now have water in the game. It will automatically water all your crops and help them grow so much faster. I'm going to tell you exactly how they work and what's the maximum and best way to get the most use out of them. But before we do that, please do consider leaving a like on this video and subscribing if you're brand new here and turn on notifications. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers. I would really, really appreciate it. Also leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. Okay, so just to kick off, you can see here I've placed two sprinklers. They have this little icon above them. It says no water. We are not getting any water, so we can therefore not water your crops. We will not water these crops because we need water, man. We need water to water the crops. Yeah, makes sense. So there is absolutely no use putting them there. Let's just take them back. And let's just go a little walk over here to where I've placed some pre-made sprinklers here because I made quite a few of them. I've, I've already set out this thing here so I can show you exactly how they work and where the limits are, okay? So in order to, to produce any water on these sprinklers, you can see this one here is producing water, whereas this one isn't. This one will, but this one won't. The reason that this one isn't just now is because the water the water thing here, the water catcher, is empty, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one away for just now, this little guy, and this little guy, because the water will never reach them. So in order to make your sprinklers work, okay, you need either this, a water catcher, or a water barrel, okay? Now, the water barrel has to be filled up manually. You've got to put your own water in here. You've got to grab your water jug or your water can and fill it up. It will store a lot of water though, so it could be a solution uh, for using that as well. The water catcher will fill up on its own, but it kind of catches the rain. It doesn't actually rain, but it's like if you imagine the rain's falling and this catches the water and then turns it into water that you can use. It says there it slowly refills over time. So this can actually be used in AFK farms. We're gonna, I'm going to produce that in the next video. We're going to produce a new AFK farm with a whole oil, oily crop cleaning system and the water catcher. But for now, we're just talking about how the sprinklers work. So this will fill up over time. And when it gets filled, you see that both of those sprinklers just went off there because they're within the range. And that's what I want to talk to you about because a lot of people won't be, will be unsure about what the range is. And I'm going to grab some wheat seeds here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these away. You can see here... Uh, how far the water reaches, okay? So it reaches three blocks, three uh, squares, but only right next to it, okay? So basically, if you imagine this, this square here, I'm actually gonna mark it with a hole for you just so you can see better. So this exact square, one square all the way around it, one block all the way around, it will cover in water, all right? Meaning crops that you place in water will obviously grow faster than ones that aren't in water. So if we just place crops here, okay? Uh, we're gonna place crops uh, you can see the ones that's got water in it, it's like dark and shiny compared to the ones that don't have water, it's just dull, like regular dark. So this well, it says no water just yet, but don't worry about it, it's just because the water catcher needs to fill it with water. I've had this running for a while, so they have used, they've just wasted a lot of water basically. Uh, so I'm going to tell you the range for it, okay? You'll see these will grow a lot faster though, because that is wet soil. Um, the range, basically, uh, I need a block just to test and show you, okay? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which is absolutely, the range is huge. Look how far away they are from that. Nine, and then wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Absolutely insane. Nine blocks forward, nine blocks backwards, nine blocks this way, nine blocks that way. That means one water catcher will feed water to sprinklers in this huge, area that you're seeing here, all the way around here, nine blocks wide, nine blocks forward, uh, I've got berry bushes here, but see if we go nine blocks in, one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, where this berry bush is here, I could put another sprinkler there and it would still reach it, and then going backwards, obviously nine more blocks, like out here, it would still reach that as well, which, and everything in between, obviously, all the sprinklers in between. And you can see here this sprinkler has been off and it's covered the one block all the way around here. It's wet, it's made this soil wet. And you can see the wet soil, the crops are growing faster in the wet soil compared to the dry soil. So sprinklers definitely are worth investing in. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about sprinklers, to be honest. This one's still going off. The water seems to be going to this one more often than it goes to this one. I don't know why it pre prioritizes this one. Probably because it's actually closer um, in terms of like long ways. It's nine blocks here, uh, it's as is this, but I feel maybe it's a bit closer just to the actual water source I guess that's why it's going off first and there's not actually enough water in here I would need to turn these off let this fill up until it's totally full and then it would obviously set them off but yeah that's pretty much all you need to know about sprinklers hopefully if you've been struggling to figure it out then obviously that will help you watch out for my next video where I'm going to be building a whole 
AFK Auto Click farm that runs on sprinklers with the new washing station that I have in here. I'm going to place in this and it's somewhere in the farm as well so we can wash the crops automatically and get back to having fully nice clean washed crops that sell for a fortune. So yeah, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that. And of course, leave a like on this video and comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.